All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to list items with variations with Thunderlister. So we're going to start off with Amazon. Okay, so we're going to pick an item that has variations, which means it has options that you select in order to add the item to cart. So you have, um, for the example with this one, you have different sizes that you need to select and colors. So this is a two-part variation. All right, so what we're going to do is you just pull up an item. The first thing that you would want to do is click where it says it would be on different places on the page. Sometimes it's under here. It might say new from, but over here on this item, it's on the right. It says new from 1559. So you click on this link. It takes you here to what's called the offer listing page. All right, this is the easiest and most accurate way to get the correct ASIN number to list with your Amazon variation items. You can also get here by just going to www.amazon.com slash GP slash offer dash listing slash and then paste in the ASIN number here and press enter. It will take you to the same place. All right, so once you're on this page, what you'll want to do is make the selection for the variations that you want to list. Okay, so for this one, I have to pick a size and a color. And then the ASIN number at the top of the screen changes. This is the ASIN that you want to list with. So the, you'll go over to Thunderlister and paste in the ASIN number. Select the country and hit Add New Item. Once the item loads, you'll make any necessary changes that you want to the title. Okay. But notice that the title is corresponding to the variation that we listed. It is the adult medium tis the season light up ugly Christmas sweater. That is exactly the item that I listed. There's not much that you have to do with the title. All right. And then you select the category. Use your profit calculator if you need to, or leave it at the default. Change your UPC if you would like. Add in your manufacturer part number, whatever you want that to be. All right, and what you'll notice is that the images are correct for the item that is being listed. You can uncheck any unnecessary images, but you, there's no need to, you know, do your own pictures or make sure that the pictures go with the right variation. With Amazon, since the ASIN number matches the item that's being listed, you don't have to worry about, are my images going to be correct? Is my title going to be correct? Is my description going to be correct? Because all of that information will automatically be correct. All right, so you see that this is the same image here. The description automatically matches the item. So do whatever editing you need to do and then come down and list your item. Now, just to show you what happens when I make a, a different selection, let's say I still want to list a medium, but I want to list the pink one. Okay, so then I make the pink selection. Notice how the ASIN number has changed. All I do is grab the ASIN number and once this item has posted, I'll be ready to list another one. So I just click on Thunderlister again and paste in the correct ASIN number. Notice how the title matches the item that's being listed. So I'm just going to take out the uh, company name here. But notice how the title is already correct. I don't need to do anything there unless I really want to do some editing. And uh, everything else will automatically match the variation that you're listing. Right. And then you can do whatever editing you want to do to the listing. But just know that when you're listing with Amazon, as long as you list the correct ASIN number, or correct product URL for the item, everything else is going to match up. You don't need to do a whole lot of editing to these items unless you want to and list items. So now I've already listed two different variations from Amazon. 
Now I'll show you the difference uh, that happens when you list with a supplier where the item number or the, the product URL does not change when you make a selection. So with this one, you'll notice if I change from espresso to gray, you know, any of these options, you'll notice that nothing changes. The URL is the same. This product number is the same here. So in this case, listing a variation would be different. So for a supplier like this, you would take the supplier URL, copy it, go over to Thunderlister, paste in the URL. If it has a whole bunch of gobbledygook at the end, <laughs> this is like referral information or affiliate information. You can just delete that out. Anything that starts with a question mark, you can get rid of that stuff. Um, so select the country, hit add new item. All right, once the image loads, you'll want to, you'll notice that the title is not pertaining to the specific variation that I want to list. So you'll want to edit the listing to make sure that your title corresponds to the variation that you're listing. So in this case, let's say I'm listing the espresso color, which would be brown. I'd want to make sure that I add brown in here into the title and hit update and description. All right, everything else is good. The UPC is already pulled for me. And it is this is what's gonna be very, very important, this variations box. In an item like this, you'll need to list and select the variation. The reason why this is important, as you'll notice, there are, well, on this item, there's not different prices, but a lot of times there'll be different prices for different variation options. OK, and then the other reason is once the item gets over to SKU Grid, if you're using SKU Grid, you want it tracked correctly. You don't want your espresso item being tracked with the, the information for red, for example. You want to know that the brown item is out of stock and that the brown items price has changed. So you'll want to make sure that your variation is selected here. OK, and then the next thing you would need to do, notice how all of the images for every single color come through. You'll want to uncheck any unnecessary images that don't pertain to that variation because it will lead to buyer confusion. You don't want to end up getting a case open for item not as described um, because you included all of these different options in your images. So I'm unchecking all of the items that are not brown in this example. Okay, so then you can edit your images, edit the images that will remain if you would like. I don't want to flip that because it has espresso down here, but I can crop that out. So let me go ahead and crop and I'm going to take that up to here. Apply. I'm going to hit resize to make sure that the image is still bigger than 500 by 500. And then I can um, Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Then I can uh, flip the item and edit it how I want to. All right, so there's my new image. Then you can make this, you'll need to make a new main image. So I hit that and I make that my main image now. Okay, so I only have, I need to unselect that. I only have two images selected for brown. Okay, you can upload new images if you want to add more. You can just go and grab them from your supplier site and add more images if you'd like to. All right, and then you'd need to make sure that you edit your description to match the item that's being listed. Like see here, it says choose from seven colors. I could say the espresso brown color will be the perfect complement to your room's design. Like I don't want to refer to the other colors that are not being sold on this listing. Hydrolister does not create a multi-variation listing on eBay and SKU Grid does not track them at this time. So, um, and it's in your best interest for automation that you go ahead and only list one variation at a time. So, you know, you can, I can add here just for further clarification, color, espresso, brown. Okay, 
So now all of this matches up to the item that's being listed and now I can list the item. If I wanted to go and list a second color, for example, let's say I wanted to list red, the process is the same. You grab the supplier URL, come over to Thunderlister. Once this is done processing, I can add that item. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on Thunderlister again, paste in the supplier URL, gonna get rid of all of the referral information at the end of the URL and just make a clean URL. Select my country. All right, and you'll edit the title to reflect the item that's being listed. So I'm going to change this to red. I'm gonna add the word red in here. Okay, hit update and description. You'll do any other editing that you'd like to do. Select the variation that you're listing. Make sure that you uncheck unnecessary images that do not pertain to the item that's being listed. So in this case, you'll notice I'm only going to list one image. I can go back and add more images from the supplier if I want to. So um, then you can edit the image. I'm gonna quickly crop out the word red Hit apply. Then I can click orientation and flip it. Apply, save. Now I'm going to hit the star to make red my main image. And red has become the main image in my description. Okay, then again, you'll want to Make sure that you edit and take out any references to other colors or sizes from the description so that your, type, your description matches the item that's being listed. Do any other editing that you'd like to do. and then list the item. So that is the big difference between listing with variations from Amazon. Um, with Amazon, your product URL changes as you make your variation selection because the ASIN number changes. And I showed you how to get the correct ASIN number for the variation. A lot of people will try to get, I'm gonna go back a page. A lot of people will try to get the ASIN number from further down on the page right here. But what you'll notice is that if it's a two part or three part variation like this, when I make changes to the um, selection, the actual ASIN number at the bottom does not change. So it changes if it's only one variation, but if it's two a two part variation, it won't change at the bottom. So that's why I'm telling you just to get in the habit, it's very, good to click on this new from link or just go directly to the GP offer listing page, make your selections and grab the matching ASIN number from the top. Okay. And then you would list with that ASIN. Uh, with suppliers where the product URL does not change with the variation, you list with the product URL, and then you select the variation when listing, you edit your title, your description, and your images to match the item that's being listed. Okay, there are other suppliers where the whole URL changes when you make a selection. For those, you just need the URL. Um, but if the, if the URL does not change, you definitely want to make sure you select the variation when listing and edit your title, images, and descriptions. Um, that's very important. Otherwise, it can lead to buyer confusion and eBay can flag you for duplicate listing violations because if your titles, images, and descriptions are the same, uh, each time you list, they're gonna think that it's the same item even though you meant to list a different one. So it's important that you change that information if it's not gonna automatically be changed. All right, and that's how you list variations with Thunderlister.